Welcome to good old Nashville, Tennessee for this Eastern Conference showdown in the Pro Basketball Association on Triangle by 1891 between the Montgomery Knights and the Nashville Train to Eat. I'm Derek Tate, and we are moments away from the opening tip here in the Music City, and we are underway. And immediately firing from downtown is Gary Hollingsworth. He knocks it in, and immediately the Montgomery Knights take a 3-0 lead over the host Train to Eat. And it's George Stanberry who also acquaints himself from downtown early on, but that one rattles in and out. And it is Montgomery looking to add to a 3-0 lead. Deontay Brown finds Isaiah Haynes, three ball corner pocket, that one goes. Back to back triples on the first two opening possessions for the Knights and they open up a 6-0 lead starting out. Speaking of starting out, for the train to eat, starting five, it's Reggie Horton, Stephen James, and speaking of Stephen James, nice tip in off the miss from Reggie Horton. That'll get Train to Eat on the board. Six to two, Montgomery on top. It looks like there's a little bit of confusion underneath the cup, but it works out in the favor of Montgomery. It's an easy two for Gary Hollingsworth. He's got a game high five points to start off for Montgomery. Eight to two, Knights on top. And Stephen James, Horton can't get it to go, neither can Darrell Thompson. It's a third offensive possession. Here is Jamal Harris on the right wing. Left-handed dribble into the lane, drops it off to Daryl Thompson, who gets an easy two and is on the board. A little bit of a scoreboard snafo. It is six to four in favor of the Montgomery Knights. Marquez Brooks, pull-up jumper from the free throw line is off the mark. <clears throat> Rebound goes to Reggie Horton. He pushes the pace. Ball finds its way to the quarter. George Stanberry for three. And the train to eight, take the lead seven to six with eight minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Fast pace action up and down here in the Music City. And that's Deontay Brown who goes up strong and draws the foul on Reggie Horton. So we'll go ahead and take a quick breath as Deontay Brown goes to the line to shoot his first and second free throws of the game. Starting five for the Montgomery Knights. Number zero, Isaiah Haynes. Number one, Deontay Brown, as he knocks down his first attempt. Number two, Jerron Washington Thomas. Number three, Marquez Brooks. And number 12, Gary Hollingsworth. As the game is now tied at seven all and make that now a eight seven advantage in favor of the Montgomery Knights. Going back and forth, here we go, a seesaw affair here in the Music City. Ball dropped down low, working on the left block is Daryl Thompson, but he has his pocket picked by Marquez Brooks. He pushes the pace, ball goes right back to him. Scoop, there it is. Count the bucket and the foul for Marquez Brooks. And he'll have one more. 7.51 remaining in the opening quarter. And the Montgomery Knights have opened up a three-point lead. I have it 10-7 in favor of Montgomery. That one rattles in and out for Brooks. Thompson snares the rebound for Train to Eat. And they trail by three with 6.43 remaining in the opening period. Jamal Harris at the top of the key. Drops it off to Stephen James. A little pick and pop that one. No good off the back iron. Extra possession for the Train to Eat. Daryl Thompson, a big boy bucket. Catches himself a mouse in the house. He'll have one more. He's got four points and looking for five. And Daryl Thompson, one of the premier scorers and toughest assignments on the defensive end for the Montgomery Knights heading into this contest. A 6-7 big man down low as he does convert on the three-point play opportunity. And we're all knotted up at 10 all on the scoreboard how it reads there in the gymnasium. Six minutes remaining in the first period. As Isaiah Haynes finds Jerron Washington Thomas, that one rattles in. So far, Montgomery pretty hot from downtown. That's their third three-pointer of this contest. They open up a 13-10 lead with 540 remaining in the first quarter. The train to eat, head into this contest, 0-2 on the season, and that is an off-the-mark attempt from, from the three-point land by Jamal Harris. And that'll turn possession over to the Montgomery Knights with just about 520 remaining in the opening period. Like I was mentioning before, Montgomery though, they're one and two on the season. Trained to eat, 0 oh and two on the season. Both teams have a one point loss 
to their name so far this season here in the early goings of the PBA 2022 regular season. Gary Hollingsworth picks up his dribble. Good pressure defense from train to eight. Into the lane and a scoop shot that is off the mark from Isaiah Haynes. And here comes Jamal Harris who is pushing the pace. Finds a George Stanberry for a wing three that's off the mark. Montgomery gets the rebound and will slow it down into a half court set. Jerron Washington Thomas, that one no good. Haynes tries to go for the offensive board. And there's going to be a foul on the floor. Knights on top, 13 to 10. With around five minutes and change, just underneath the five minute mark is how the scoreboard reads. Clock is still running. But it is Gary Hollingsworth with possession for Montgomery, a three point lead. Jerron Washington Thomas finds Deontay Brown, who steps into a triple. No good. Stanberry snares the rebound. And here comes Nashville. Harris tries to put that one right in the pocket of Stephen James on the fast break, but an arid pass results in a turnover. And Montgomery will take possession once again, up 13 to 10. Going by the scoreboard, we got about five minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the first period. Stanberry, oh, that is a beautiful pass, but the bunny hops out of the hat. That one not able to go. Missed opportunity for the train to eat. Now the ball finds its way to the quarter. Gary Hollingsworth from downtown, no good. Jerron Washington Thomas goes right back up off the offensive board. No good as well. Daryl Thompson finally snares the board, and we have a timeout as action finally slows here of this Eastern Conference showdown here on the PBA. Thank you for joining us here on Eight Triangle by 1891 Productions as the Montgomery Knights and Train to Eat both looking to snap their respective losing streaks. As the Train to Eat so far this season, in the early goings, they had a loss to open the season. 91-83 against their crosstown rivals, the Music City Kings, back on May 21st, and then suffered a one-point loss at the hands of the Mississippi Hawks. It is now Train to Eat. About to take the ball across the midcourt stripe. They still trail 13 to 10 here in the early goings as number four Antonio Anthony checks in the local Nashville product. Now on the floor for the train to eat. He attended Pearl Cone High School here locally. Well, in the Nashville area. Inbound goes to Daryl Thompson and that's too easy down on the left block. Thompson now a team high seven points. 13 to 12, Montgomery still on top. Marquez Brooks trying to go against Thompson. He challenges him with the left-handed scoop. That one no good. Harris pushes the pace for Train to Eat. Drops it back to Daryl Thompson. Left-handed scoop, no good. Washington Thomas gobbles up the rebound and Montgomery pushes the pace. Ball finds its way to the corner. Now back out to the top of the key. Washington Thomas, hello Washington, that one goes. Montgomery back up by three, they're on top, 15 to 12. As we're halfway through the opening quarter here in Nashville. Anthony brings it across the midcourt stripe, working against Washington Thomas, takes him off the bounce, unable to connect on the layup, and it's Hollingsworth who pushes the pace for Montgomery, and it's a good take from Deontay Brown who gets his first bucket from the field. And it's Montgomery who extends their lead. They're now on top, 17 to 12, five point lead. We're around the two minute mark. Actually it says Reed 342 up on the scoreboard as Stanberry's on the right wing, lets it go. That left-handed shot, no good. Hollingsworth with the rebound, three on two opportunity, kicks it over to Isaiah Haynes for a corner three. That one in and out. And Deontay Brown can't quite get an extra possession for Montgomery, a missed opportunity in transition. Train to eat. We'll try to cut into this five-point deficit. As it's been Daryl Thompson who's been doing most of the work offensively. Team high seven points so far, seven of the 12 for the Train to Eat squad. Stanberry, nice two-man game with Daryl Thompson. Count the bucket and the foul. Second and one opportunity. Nine points for Daryl Thompson here in the opening quarter. 
And you would think one of the keys to victory for Montgomery is trying to slow down that duo we just saw right there running the high pick and roll between Stanberry and Thompson. Thompson can't convert on the three-point play opportunity. But possession will actually stay with Train to Eat as the referees will go ahead and confer with themselves. And it looks like the appeal from one of the referees actually gets it overturned. So it is only a three-point lead now for Montgomery. They're on top, 17 to 14 in the latter half of the first period. And that is a beautiful look and take from Deontay Brown, who now has four points. And their lead swells back to five points as Stanberry lets it go from a couple feet beyond the three-point line. Scuffle for the ball goes to Deontay Brown. He's trapped just past the midcourt line. His pass tipped, and it may have been a walk on Mr. Deontay Brown. 19-14, Montgomery on top, trained to eat. Nine points so far from Daryl Thompson. It's Stanberry, a transition three. That one's bottoms from downtown for George Stanberry. That's his second triple. He's got six. As we've got ourselves a two-point game, and there is a steal from Antonio Anthony. He can't get the bunny to go. Rebound goes back, and Jamal Harris trailing the... In transition, his three-pointer won't go. Rebound goes for Marquez Brook, and here come the Knights. Marquez Brooks tries to go up strong. That is a foul on Antonio Anthony. As it looks they're going to go ahead and get him potentially in the act of shooting, which will send Marquez Brooks to the line for the first time in this contest. Brooks played his high school ball locally in Montgomery at Jefferson Davis High. As we have a timeout on the floor. Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA. Nineteen seventeen is how we have it around the two-minute mark as Brooks, his first free throw is a little bit long. He'll have one more and try to add to the two-point advantage for Montgomery. Brooks goes one of two at the line. 20-17, to 17, 
Montgomery. It looks like the Knights have tried to spring a full court press. Train E does a good job trying to break that as Anthony penetrates in and finds a oh, wide open Antonio Anthony. Who knocks in his first bucket. The lo local Nashville product brings the train to eat back to within two. It looks like that actually is going to count that one as a three-pointer. It's 20 to 20. We have a tie ball game here in the late goings of the first quarter. And that's a nice find to a cutting to Quiz Thomas, who just checked in for Montgomery. The Knights retake it, take the lead 22 to 20. And it's Nashville who pushes the pace. Stanberry, open for three. Yes, sir. Stanberry with his third triple of the first quarter. He's got nine points. And we know Stanberry, who gives Train to Eat their first lead of this contest. Terrell Hill, step back. Finds a cutting. Jaquiz Thomas, who that pass is a little bit too hot to handle for Thomas. And it's a turnover as Train to Eat with a one-point lead in the closing moments of the opening period. Anthony finds a cutting. Jawan Carpenter, who puts that one in, plus the, plus the foul. Little jump ahead in action. Go ahead and try to just call this as a 23-22 lead for Train to Eat as it's another turnover offensively for Montgomery. Full court press by the Knights as the train to E try to add to their one point advantage. And there is a Jawan Carpenter who's able to put that one in through contact. That will extend the lead for train to eat 25 to 22. As our live feed is showing a little bit of lag, I apologize about that. And they lost their most recent game back on May 15th. It was actually back to back for the Montgomery Knights, 107 to 101 as we resume action. And Carpenter cannot convert on the three point play opportunity. Train to Eat is now up 25 22 in the closing moments of the first period. And that is a nice cut to the bucket by Jeffrey Drake, who gets on the board and trims that deficit for the Knights down to one, 25-24. Train to eat. And that pass is intercepted and it looks like it's gonna be an easy transition bucket. As this full court press is starting to turn up the pressure, that's Terrell Hill who gets on the board and gives Montgomery a one point lead. 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter and look at that one go from the corner. That is Antonio Anthony, his second triple of the first period. Train to Eat retakes the lead. About 10 seconds remaining, it's Terrell Hill into the paint and a fadeaway jumper almost goes glass. Anthony looking to get one more heave at the end of the first period and that one is off the mark as Train to Eat takes a two point lead to the second period here in PBA action here in Nashville in this Eastern Conference showdown between the Knights and the Train to Eat, 28-26. Nashville on top as we head to the second quarter here on Triangle by 1891, bringing you PBA regular season action. Standout performers in the first period. Two three-pointers from Jerron Washington Thomas for Montgomery as second period has gotten off to a quick and fast start. It's an immediate turnover. And it's Jawan Carpenter who's trying to put his man, <laughs> trying to put him on a poster, rises up and draws the foul as Carpenter will shoot free throws number two and three on the evening. Train to eat with a two-point lead in the early goings of the second quarter. And here on the PBA, you get 10-minute quarters, four quarters individually. As Jawan Carpenter comes up in and out on that Offering from the free throw line, he ha will have one more. He's 0 for 2 on the night from the stripe. Carpenter comes up empty. Thomas, who has four points in the first quarter, 
gathers it for the Knights. And there's a steal from Jawan Carpenter. Here comes Nashville, full court pass and a left-handed bucket that should have went down. It did not, rattles in and out. And back the other way is Jeffrey Drake, but put his shoulder down and you can't do that in basketball. The defender's standing right there, that is a charge. Offensive foul turns possession back over to Nashville who lead 28 to 26 here in the early goings of the second quarter. Carpenter out on the wing. Driving into the lane and losing the handle is James Farmer. Here's Thomas going one on one and into the body of Stephen James. He draws the foul. Thomas didn't start the game, but he has been very active ever since checking in around the four minute mark in the first quarter. It's Thomas. We'll shoot one of two from the free throw line. That first one goes. He will have one more, and if he can knock this one down, he can tie this one up at 28 all. Thomas, during his win against the Mississippi Hawks, Thomas did not play in that contest. He does go two for two for the line. We got ourselves a tie ball game, 28-28. Just under nine minutes to go, and that one is a steal, and here come the Knights. Going into the body of a pair of trained to eat defenders is number 11, Jalen Smith. Tried to go coast to coast. Apparently, the foul is on the floor. Montgomery will retain possession. 28 all. With 8.47 remaining. This one got off to a blistering pace as checking into the game is Byron Slay. Inbound goes to Drake. Now over to Thomas from the left wing. His three-pointer is a little strong and rebound goes to Byron Slay. Pushes the pace. And that is Stephen James with no hesitation going for three, but that one hits the top of the backboard. Thompson able to gather the board. Extra possession for Nashville. Carpenter driving baseline. Tries to go up strong. That one chipped and from Alex McNeil, able to deny the attempt, but another offensive possession, a scramble that goes in favor of Nashville. And it's Thompson working on the right block. Double team goes, nice drop off pass to Stephen James. It looks like they're gonna get Jeffrey Drake for a hack right underneath the cup. And it'll send Stephen James to the line for the first time this evening. He had five points so far in this contest. He'll get his first two free throws at the line. As James comes up silky smooth from the free throw line on his first attempt. Train to eat, retake the lead. We've gone back and forth. Eight lead changes so far in this contest. It's shaping up to be a good one. James knocks down both free throws. 30 to 28, Nashville on top. 7.58 and counting here in the second quarter. Jalen Smith tries to Drop off a pocket pass to Alex McNeil. That one a little bit off the mark. Another turnover for this Montgomery offense. Which gives Nashville an opportunity to add to their two-point lead, and they do exactly that. Firing away from a couple feet behind the three-point line is Byron Slay, who gets on the board. Five-point lead opened up by Train to Eat. Smith. Trying to navigate through traffic. Now it's a baseline fadeaway jumper that's way off the mark. Slay pushes the pace for Nashville. His pass tipped, intended for Jamal Harris. Turned over, but now a steal from Darrell Thompson. He turns it over. McNeil for three, no good. Rebound goes to Phillip Glover. He's trapped, drops it off to Harris. Who dribbles it back out to try to slow things down. And check that, that's Jalen Smith who tries to go up and under. No good. Terrell Hill, another offensive possession, two consecutive offensive rebounds for Montgomery. Hill, here's a heat check from way beyond the three-point line. That's from the logo. Off the mark and trained to eat, gather the board, and pace slows down. They have a five-point lead with 6.30 remaining in the second quarter. 
Slay at the top of the key, working on Smith. Right-handed dribble penetration. His pass tried to drop off to Harris. Harris drops it back off to Slay. Here's a sidestep three-pointer in and out. Thompson with the rebound. Strong bucket from Daryl Thompson, who now has 11 points. He's in double digits. Seven-point lead for Nashville. McNeil, his mid-range jumper, no good. Thomas, another offensive board for Montgomery to Glover. Back over to McNeil, Euro step. There's going to be a foul on the floor as the pace slows. Seven-point lead, 6-19 remaining in the first half. We resume action and checking back into the game and back onto the scoreboard is Isaiah Haynes, the Lanier High School product. Trims the deficit down to five points, 35-30. Trained to eat on top. Here's Byron Slays three, that one no good. Marquez Brooks with the rebound and pushes the pace for Montgomery. Ball finds its way to Deontay Brown, Euro step. And that one rattles home a nice runner from Deontay Brown. He's got six points. 35-32. Montgomery making this one a game. And here's Brown trying that same exact move. This one no good. Haynes, another offensive rebound for Montgomery. And a beautiful drop-off pass. That really should have been a three-point play. Marquez Brooks not very happy with himself. Good job by Deontay Brown getting into the lane and causing all kinds of trouble for that train to eat defense. Thirty-five, thirty-two. Five oh three remaining in the first half. In this Eastern Conference showdown between Montgomery and Nashville. Deontay Brown working off a high screen. He gets his own miss, goes right back up, can't convert again. And the loose ball is snared by Nashville. Full court pass all the way up to Antonio Anthony, who couldn't quite gather the pass. Good job getting back on defense by Marquez Brooks. Possession will remain with Train to Eat. Bad pass. Another turnover for Nashville. Mintz. Montgomery trailing by three points. They could knock this one up if they get one to go from distance. Nearly halfway through this second quarter. That shot off the mark, and here come the train to eat. That's Jawan Carpenter who can't quite handle that pass. Both teams turn the ball over quite a bit here in the first half. 4.30 remaining, 35-32. Train to eat with the early lead. Deontay Brown, up fake. Finds Marquez Brooks on the right wing. Brooks. His dribble is stopped, and he still tries to fire up a fadeaway J, but they call Antonio Anthony. For the foul on the forearm. Kind of bails out Marquez Brooks as he'll go to the line for the second time tonight. As Brooks' first free throw is off the mark, he had 17 points in the season opener against the Dotham Vipers, or Snipers. Nine points in their win against the Hawks and 12 points versus the Georgia Vipers. As Brooks goes one of two from the line. Montgomery trailing. 35-33, train to eat with possession just around the four-minute mark. Here's Antonio Anthony. Oh, beautiful find, and nearly a stuff there from Daryl Thompson, who can't quite put it home. And it's Jerron Washington Thomas who loses the handle, and here's a steal. There goes Antonio Anthony, trailing Stanberry for three. Yes, sir. George Stanberry with his fourth three-pointer of the first half. Five-point lead now for train to eat. 3.30 and counting as it's Marquez Brooks with a heat check from downtown. His offering is no good. Stanberry with the rebound. Dribbles into trouble. Now he's double teamed. 
Able to find Anthony down on the baseline. He loses the handle. Ball somehow finds its way to a wide open Carpenter. His three pointer is no good. Haynes with the rebound and here come the Knights. Brown into traffic, no good. Anthony with the rebound. 38-33, five point lead for Train to Eat. Good ball movement. Finds all the way to the corner now. Back to Stanberry for three. Yes, sir! Five three-pointers in the first half from George Stanberry. He's got 15 points, and it's a timeout from Montgomery, and we know George Stanberry can get hot from downtown. He had 30 points in the opening game loss of the season for Train to Eat, but we know this man can get buckets because dating back to his days at the Volunteer State Pioneers, the man used to drop 20 like it was another day at the office. He averaged 28 in his freshman season and 25 in his sophomore season as we resume action. Montgomery trailing 41 to 33 with 230 remaining in the second quarter. Jerron Washington Thomas, right-handed dribble, finds Hollingsworth for a corner three. That one falls, but it looks like there was a foul on the floor prior to the three-point attempt. It looks like there is going to be a foul on the floor. A charge, an offensive call. As Train to Eat can actually open up their first double-digit lead if they're able to convert from the field. Stanberry can't blame him for letting it go, but his three-pointer is off the mark. Washington Thomas pushes the pace for Montgomery. He steps right into a pull-up jumper. That one goes. Trims the lead now to six, 41-35. Carpenter on the left wing, drops it down to Daryl Thompson. His bucket did go, but we're gonna see if they called that foul on the floor or they are gonna call that one on the floor against Isaiah Haynes. Basket does not count, 41-35, just under two minutes remaining, and here's Carpenter for three. Touches every part of the rim and does not go. Montgomery pushes the pace, and Marquez Brooks all the way on the other end. That's an easy two, 41-37 now. Trained eight, still clinging to a lead. They did open it up to eight points, but 4-0 run from Montgomery. As these two teams continue to go back and forth, and speaking of back and forth, look at that dribble there from Antonio Anthony. Weaving through the Montgomery defense, can't quite get the layup to go. Loose ball foul is going to go on Daryl Thompson. As they are now in the bonus. Similar to NBA type rules, there's no one in one situation once a team is over the foul limit. Two free throws every time, and it's Deontay Brown who steps to the line for Montgomery. His first offering is way short, but he will have one more. Deontay Brown at six points in the season opener, but 15 points against the Mississippi Hawks. He was one of the leading scorers along with Isaiah Haynes, who also had 15 points to help get Montgomery their first win of the season as he goes one of two over the line. 41-38. 123 remaining in the second quarter. Trained to eat with possession, and it's a dangerous pass into trouble and another turnover from Nashville. Three bad offensive possessions for Trained to eat. And speaking of bad possessions, it's a bad pass from Deontay Brown. Now it's a two-on-one opportunity. Great job getting back on defense by Phillip Glover. It was a two-on-one opportunity for Trained to eat. But the lob pass was broken up by Phillip Glover. Nashville retains possession. 120 remaining, and it's Byron Slay. Scoop, there it is. Left-handed one that goes. Slay now with seven points. 43-38. Montgomery with possession, and that shot is stamped by Jawan Carpenter. Terrell Hill, his shot sent back, at, but Montgomery retains possession. Deontay Brown at the top of the key. He lets a three-pointer go. That one no good. Rebound snared by Carpenter as the pace slows. Nashville leads 43-38. Just under a minute remaining. Carpenter into the lane. 
His pass finds his way to James Farmer, who tried to swing it around the horn over to Jatari Donald, who's checked in, number zero for train to eat. 43 seconds and counting. Antonio Anthony, crossover right to left. Goes all the way, but Glover able to get a hand on it. He's going to go ahead and push the pace himself. Into the lane, drops it off to Terrell Hill, and that is a contested layup that goes by Terrell Hill. He'll have one more at the line and can make this a two-point game as he, if he's able to get this one to go down. Terrell Hill with four points. Make it five. 43-41, trained to eat. Leading, and we've got the final seconds here in the first half, 21 and counting. Jatari Donald, he gets his pocket picked by Deontay Brown, three on one for the Knights. And it's great defense getting back by Jawan Carpenter, able to break up a three on one opportunity for the Knights. The Knights could have tied it up there. But Carpenter able to Hold down the fort. We've got about 15 seconds remaining in the first half, and appears that one went, the pass was deflected by Carpenter, but then went off of a Montgomery player. And now it's trained to eat with 10 seconds and counting. Slay, double team. He picked up his dribble and took a couple too many steps. That defensive pressure from the Knights got to him. He returns the favor. And we've got about six seconds remaining in the first half. Montgomery with possession and trailing by two. Here's Marquez Brooks, pull up three. That one does not connect as we head to halftime here at Nashville with Train to Eat on top, 43 to 41. When I came home from prison in 2001, I had a tough time finding a job. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? When you get to that part of the application, your heart starts beating fast, your hands become sweaty. It doesn't matter your education or work experience. That's gonna be the determining factor. What's up, man? What's up, what's up with you? Nothing, man. How you get it, man? Regular military, you got a no sign. Inside. 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 I will fill out an application and they tell me that they're not hiring, but they got now hiring signs on the window. Did that make you go back to doing some of the things that you were doing before? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. That, it's kind of like they forced you to. Set up. It's, right. it's like set up. It's systematically set up for you to have to go back. I was three years old when the U.S. Marshals came, beat down the door, and got my dad maybe like five the second time. I just kept asking my mom, like, yo, where's my dad? Where's he at? He would tell my grandmother, I'm not trying to do that no more. I'm trying to get my life right. What up, boy? What's up with your boy? Good to see you, good to see you, man. Being a barber changed my dad. Being able to have a community that he can turn to when he needed something. That helped him a lot. That was a hard moment for me last year. That, that was All those ups and downs that you've been through, to look at you now, I am so proud of you. I'm happy to call you my dad, man. What you just said right there is what it was all about. Everything that I've done was for that. Now I can retire, so <laughs> I can retire now. Old man still got it. Now that look good, man. What happens when everything we know about something changes? I tell people all the time, this is the best American story you never heard. We're out hitting the pavement, talking to restaurants, talking to bars. I don't think of myself as a whiskey salesperson. I want you to know his name. Drink by drink, we're bringing this story to light. When we have to step back through the pages of history. It's so much more than whiskey. It's so much more than a brand. It's a movement. When we have to make amends. 
and pay respect. We're honoring the greatest whiskey maker the world never knew. And it's beautiful. And give credit where credit is due. Uncle Nearest is the godfather of Tennessee whiskey, and the world needs to know it. What happens? We do it. <laughs> Uncle Nearest, it's more than whiskey. Zoom. We're right back into it here on 1891 by Triangle. <laughs> it's Jawan Washington Thomas who immediately comes up with the steal with the Montgomery Knights trailing by two, but it might not be for long. Swinging it back over Deontay Brown. Reverse layup, no good. And here come Train to Eat. Leading by two, and it's cross court pass to Harris. Harris tries to find a cutting Daryl Thompson. That one no good. Gary Hollingsworth with a steal. He's going to try to take it himself. Good defense getting back on the other end by Reggie Horton. Both teams turning the ball over. There were double-digit turnovers by both teams in the first half of this game. But both teams really didn't struggle to find buckets in the first half as they're actually going to call this foul on Reggie Horton as it was Gary Hollingsworth who opened up scoring in this game with a three-pointer three seconds into the contest. His first free throw is off the mark. He has a chance to cut the deficit in half if he can knock down his second of two free throws. Hollingsworth had seven points in that win against the Mississippi Hawks as he goes one of two at the line. It's now a one-point lean for Train to Eat here in the opening Moments of the third quarter. Thompson on the left block, goes to the left hand, no good tip. Unable to go there by Reggie Horton, and here come the Knights. In transition, it's a triple from Hollingsworth, that one no good. Rebound goes to Stanberry. Now it's Thompson establishing position down low. Stanberry, who had 15 points in the first quarter, tells his man to try to come and get some. Drops it off to Harris, he can't get that one to go. Thompson with another offensive board. Thompson with the baby hook that goes. He's got 13 points. As the offensive load has been shared by George Stanberry and Daryl Thompson so far, they've combined for 28 points so far. Three-point lead for Train to Eat. Hollingsworth goes up. That one way off the mark. Good contest. Hollingsworth gets the steal. Gets it right back. Tries to go up. No good. Marquez Brooks right there for the cleanup job. Two points. Makes it a one-point game now, trained to eat. Three turnovers here in the early goings of the third quarter. Stanberry brings it across the midcourt line. Working on Hollingsworth, now he gets a screen from Thompson. There's a pass to Thompson that nearly puts it right on the side of his face. Looks like they're gonna go ahead and count that bucket. Thompson, he's got 15 points, he'll have one more. He has been an issue. His size and strength have been giving the Montgomery Knights fits throughout this entire contest. He's one of two at the line so far in this game. But a lot of what the damage that Daryl Thompson has been doing is he establishes position down low, calls for the ball, and he can finish with either hand down low. Train to eat, looking to add to their lead as Thompson does convert on the three-point play opportunity. I've got it 48-44, four-point lead, and answering right back is Marquez Brooks. He gets a bucket, 48-46. Train to eat still on top. Now they're doubling Daryl Thompson. It doesn't matter, still gets a shot up. Hollingsworth able to gather, gather the miss, and here come the Knights. Brooks across the way, now over to Deontay Brown. Driving into the paint, he is stripped. And it's Stanberry who's able to gather the loose ball before it goes out of bounds. Stanberry finds a cutting Reggie Horton who gets that one to go for his second bucket of the game. 50-46, to 46. Nashville on top. 
Brooks finds Jerron Washington Thomas. Good contest there from Thompson. Prevents the easy layup. And that'll send Jerron Washington Thomas to the line. He's got six points so far in this contest. He had six against the Mississippi Hawks in their win back on May 14th. He had seven points against the Georgia Vipers as he gets his first free throw to go. 50 to 47. Montgomery found themselves trailing by as many as eight points in the second quarter. As Thompson goes two for two at the line, picks up a couple. 50 to 48, trained to eat as we resume action. 50 to 48, trained to eight on top. And into the lane and a nice looking bucket from Antonio Anthony. A little stop and play and turnover against Montgomery. Now a four-point lead. Stanberry up fake, dribble down the baseline, jumper that goes. 54 to 48, 17 points for George Stanberry. Brooks tries to find his man Hollingsworth in the corner. It's stolen by Harris. Harris tries to lob it. He turns it over. Two-on-one opportunity. Right back to Harris. Pass is tipped by... Thompson, but it goes right back to Marquez Brooks, who gets that triple to go, his first three-pointer of the game. 54-41, that cuts the lead in half for Train to Eat. Harris can't get it to go. Follow is Thompson. He's got 17 points. 34 combined points from Stanberry and Thompson. Train to Eat, 56-51. They lead six minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Jerron Washington Thomas, his... Fadeaway jumper is off the mark. Stanberry with the rebound. Stanberry loses the handle now, gathers it back. He's on the right wing. Wants an isolation against Deontay Brown. Now over to the corner, now to the block. It's Thompson who is just giving all kinds of fits to the front court of Montgomery as he draws yet another foul and will go to the line to shoot his fourth and fifth free throws on the evening. 17 points for Thompson. He's also working on a double-double. I've got him at seven rebounds so far, and Thompson can't quite get that one to settle down in the nylon. He will have one more. They still lead 56-51. As Thompson will go one of two from the charity stripe. 18 points for Daryl Thompson. He's got a game high so far. Six point lead for Nashville as Deontay Brown goes right into the heart of that train to eat defense. Looks like he lost the handle. They may have called it on the floor. Reggie Horton trying to appeal to the referees. Apparently it worked because here we teleport to the other side of the floor and train to eat has possession. Horton. <laughs> Hoists up a contested fadeaway jumper. It says that it, it went. A little bit of confusion and a stop and play. We're going to see if it actually registers on the scoreboard. I believe they called a travel before it went down. And here's Jerron Washington Thomas. His three-pointer is no good. Going right back up as Jalen Smith actually finds it over to Philip Glover, whose corner three is off the mark. Here comes Jawan Carpenter in the train to eat. Now he finds an open man in the corner. 4-3, yes, sir. That's Antonio Anthony who gets it to fall from the corner. 59-51, train to eat on top. Actually, I've got it 60-51 to at the top of the scoreboard at the top of your screen, just under the five-minute mark. And it's Carpenter who gathers the board and pushes the pace now for train to eat. Carpenter, he is stripped. And here come the Knights with numbers. It's Glover. And they're going to go ahead and call this an offensive foul on Phillip Glover. Good job getting back on defense by Jatari Daniel Donald. 60 to 51 remains the score. With train to eat on top, we're 441 and counting here in the third quarter. And it's Nashville with possession. 
Stanberry. Met on the perimeter by Glover. Goes down to Stephen James. James has his attempt blocked. Pushing the pace over to Terrell Hill. Hill drops it off to Glover who can't convert. Hill can't gather the offensive board. It's Horton who comes away with the ball for train to eat. And here's a heat check and that one goes. It's Derek Walker from downtown. He gets on the board 63 to 51, a double digit lead the first of the evening for Nashville. Jalen Smith drives baseline. He gets that one to go. An important basket right there from Jalen Smith, able to stop the run from the train to eat. And he can get this one right back down to single digits with the conversion on the three-point attempt. Jalen Smith does convert on the three-point play opportunity. It looks like here's Jalen Smith yet again, steals the inbound from Stephen James. James was not very happy about it and decided to send that shot into the rafters. But got his body first, a steal off the inbound, and all of a sudden we could get a quick five points. And the Montgomery Knights, after the lead was all the way up to 12, the highest of the game for the train to eat squad. Stephen James a little frustrated with himself. As it will be Jalen Smith who's stepping to the line for two more free throws. Unfortunately, his first one, not a kind shooter's touch. It rattles in and out. He will have one more and can make this an eight point game. And he does. One of two at the line, he's two of three on the game from the line. And this full court press is starting to give Nashville a little bit of issues. And speaking of issues, Byron Slay loses his footing. He's able to push the ball back up to Stephen James. James tries to go up strong and they're gonna get Alex McNeil for a reach in foul. Stephen James trying to make amends for his turnover back on the other end. They're gonna see if we can call this one on the floor or in the act of shooting. Either way, a lot of defensive effort on both sides. Both teams have forced over 10 turnovers so far in this game. And the referees are going to go ahead and discuss this one amongst themselves. And we resume action. Stanberry now driving baseline. Back out to Antonio Anthony. Anthony dribbles into the lane. Contested layup does not go, and there's a foul on the floor. And it looks like they're going to call this one against Jeffrey Drake, number 13, along the baseline. Tried to poke it free from George Stanberry. 63-55, Stanberry working on the left baseline. He pulls the trigger, no good. Rebound goes to Terrell Hill, and he pushes the pace for the Knights. They trail by eight. Hill, heat check from downtown. That one hits nothing. Full court outlet by Stanberry. Finds it all the way to Carpenter, who lays it up and in. Ten-point lead for Nashville, 65-55. Near the three-minute mark. As it's Jeffrey Drake. Good spin move into the lane, but he can't convert on the move. Stanberry with the board, his pass is tipped out of bounds. Possession will stay with Nashville. And we resume action again. It's McNeil. Catch and shoot three, no good. Jaquiz Thomas count the bucket and the foul. An up and under, under move from Jaquiz Thomas. It's Byron Slay who got beat to the glass and took the bait on the up fake. And then will send Thomas to the line. We've got ourselves a quick look at the scoreboard. It says Reed, 65-55. Do believe that they'll add two more for the Knights to uh, represent 65-57. Thomas will go to the line and try to convert on the three-point play opportunity. 
Referees are confirming that Byron Slay committed the foul in the act of shooting. Thomas, continuation. His free throw a little bit short. James with the outlet pass for the train to eat. And Carper, wait, Ant, Antonio Anthony, his free throw is, or layup is no good. Thomas gets a hand on that one. McNeil can't get the follow. Full court passes, an immediate turnover. Back over to Jeffrey Drake. McNeil, up fake, into the lane. Nice drop off pass to Terrell Hill. Up fake, he can't get the bunny to go. Back in the hat, he gets his own miss. Thomas goes up strong and draws the foul on Antonio Anthony. The quiz Thomas has given this front court a lot of quality minutes so far this season. Or at least that's the, the plan for Jaquiz Thomas. They're glad to have him back along with Orlando Ties, who hasn't seen a bunch of action, number 35 for the Montgomery Knights, but it is Jaquiz Thomas who's had his number called on multiple occasions on in this game. He will go to the line to shoot a pair. Missed the first, he goes one of two from the charity stripe, 65-58. Train to eat, still on top, but dealing with a full court press that has been giving them issues. Stanberry. Looks like it's going to be a five second, or 10 second, some sort of violation. Didn't get exactly get the call, but Montgomery's defense forces another turnover. It's a seven point game with 2.10 remaining in the third quarter. Step back three is off the mark. Rebound goes to Farmer. Trained to eat. Another turnover. That one from Stanberry himself. It's all the way to the other side, and it's Terrell Hill who lays it up and in. And now all of a sudden, it was a 12-point lead earlier in this quarter. It's down to five. Trained to eat. Still trying to cling to a lead, 65-60. to 60. As Stanberry... A pass all the way to the other side, and it's a baseline drive. No good. James Farmer gets his own miss. And Stanberry, who finally stops the bleeding. 19 points for George Stanberry. 68 to 60, trained to eat on top. We lose a little bit of the action with the camera. Three-pointer that goes. It didn't quite catch the number, but it is 68-63 in, in favor of the train to eat. Now driving baseline. Harris finds Jatari Donald from way downtown. That one gets wet from the splash zone. 71 to 63. Final 45 seconds of the third quarter. Thomas working on Farmer. Goes up strong into Quiz Thomas. Great third quarter so far. Another bucket for him. Six point lead now for Train to Eat. Stanberry going to try to do it himself. No good. Harris gets the rebound. Harris goes up strong. First bucket of the game for Jamal Harris. 73 65. Nashville on top. McNeil gets the ball in good position. Goes up against James. No good. James with the rebound. Outlet pass to Harris. Here comes Nashville. Final 10 seconds. Out to James Farmer. Five seconds. Farmer tries to take his man off the dribble. Loses possession. Can't quite keep his handle through the contact of McNeil. And we'll have likely one more quick possession. 0.9 seconds remaining. May get a full court pass and a heave. Rolls it in, and that is Jalen Smith who lets it go. That one off the mark. Whoa, personal foul. What the feezy? You can't use a beard trimmer below the 50 yard line. This is the Waterproof Lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped. What's the difference? It's got new skin safe technology to help reduce cuts and nicks. It's powerful, yet gentle, just like me. Dog, I appreciate you. Boop. Hey, watch out. Uh, I'm not ticklish. Get yours at manscaped.com.
fourth and final quarter right here, right now on Triangle by 1891, 73-65. It's the Knights who miss a three-pointer to start fourth quarter action. Stanberry, a game high, 19 points. Drops it off to Harris. Harris over to Carpenter. Carpenter's pass is intercepted. Here come the Knights to Thomas. Thomas over to Marquez Brooks who gets it wet from the downtown area. Three pointer that goes. His second triple of the game, 73-68. Trained to eat. Can't seem to put the Montgomery Knights away. Keep coming up with timely buckets. Fade away jumper from Stanberry is misses everything and here comes Jerron Washington Thomas. Here's Marquez Brooks, three ball corner pocket. Yes, sir. Now we got ourselves a two point ball game. Montgomery on a 6-0 run and it's 73-71 Nashville on top. Dangerous pass that somehow gets to Harris. Harris, dribble penetration, drops it off to Daryl Thompson and Thompson finishes. He's got 19 points, him and George Stanberry carrying the offensive load for Train to Eat as they take a four point lead. Here's Hollingsworth. That three ball misses everything. Stanberry with the rebound. Stanberry to Thompson. Stomps Thompson with a head of steam but loses the handle. They turn it right back over to Montgomery. As the Knights are staring at a four point deficit. This one got all the way down to a two point game and it's a two point game again as Deontay Brown finishes through contact. 8-20 and counting, 75-73, Nashville on top. Carpenter to Harris. Harris, heat check from downtown, that one a little bit short. Rebound goes to Marquez Brooks who pushes the pace. He's looking for the lead. Brooks can't get it to go, it rattles in and out. Rebound goes to Reggie Horton. bit too aggressive was Isaiah Haynes. Actually, they're going to say that it was a lost handle. Excuse me. That's Horton who couldn't quite save possession for train to eat. So a field goal here or a three, a, a field goal, a two-pointer. Tie this one up. A three-pointer would give the Knights their first lead since the first quarter. Deontay Brown brings the call, ball across the midcourt strike. He's working on Thompson. Drops it off to Isaiah Haynes. Haynes working on Stephen James. And that's a drop step and a contested bucket that goes. And we have ourselves a tie ball game in Nashville, 75-75. Stanberry loses the handle, but Thompson able to gather the loose ball. Down Harris to James. James's entry pass is stolen by Montgomery. Here comes Marquez Brooks. The Knights looking for the lead. Haynes over to Jerron Washington Thomas. Hello, Washington. That three ball goes. 78-75. The Knights retake the lead. My goodness. A 9-0 run from Montgomery. And it's trained to eat who's trying to find some sort of answer. Jamal Harris's runner is off the mark. Washington Thomas. Full court to Deontay Brown. Brown gets his own miss and goes right back up. The bucket will not count, though. Brown will go to the line. Boy, the defense has been turned up against the train to eat offensive ball handlers. A lot of turnovers as Deontay Brown can't capitalize and make this a two possession game on his first offering. He will have one more free throw attempt. Deontay Brown played a little bit of college ball at Lurleen Wallace Community College. And a little bit of teleport action. I do believe that he knocked down the free throw as Jamal Harris lets a three pointer go. That one a little bit long. Here comes Isaiah Haynes, 79-75. Montgomery on top, Marquez Brooks. His three-pointer no good. Gary Hollingsworth skies up for the rebound. An extra possession for Montgomery. Deontay Brown kicks it over to Brooks. Now the pass is intercepted from Gary Hollingsworth. 
Jawan Carpenter pushes the pace. Now it's a corner three from Jamal Harris. His third straight attempt from downtown, no good. Rebound goes by Reggie Horton. Now back over to Harris. Harris drops it off to Thompson down on the low block. He's double teamed. His pass broken up. Stanberry gathers the loose ball. Stanberry got it. 21 for George Stanberry. And that finally ends the run for the Montgomery Knights. They are still leading though, 78-77. 540 and counting here in this contest. Pass is tipped by Jamal Harris. Montgomery retains possession. A lot of action. Train to Eat looked well on their way to potentially locking up their first win of the season with a 12-point lead, but tough sledding here in the third and fourth quarter as Haynes' shot is off the mark. Harris with the rebound. Thompson with a running downhill two-handed stuff. 21 points for Daryl Thompson. And it's Train to Eat who retakes the lead, 79-78. Hollingsworth, up fake, drives into the lane. His layup is no good. Rebound, Thompson, outlet by Stanberry. His pass is intercepted. Deontay Brown going the other way. Now it's Marquez Brooks, corner three, no good. An easy follow from Washington Thomas. And Montgomery retakes the lead, 80-79. to As we look like we may have... Hopefully not an injury, but it looks like Deontay Brown is grabbing at his left ankle. As the clock will play, will stop. We'll go ahead and check and make sure that Deontay Brown is all right. Resumes 430, 81 to 79. Check that, it's the Knights up by two and a missed shot by Jamal Harris. Jaquiz Thomas checks back into the game. Thomas going at Daryl Thompson. A lot of contact, and Thomas will go to the line unless they call that one on the floor. Momentum really started to shift off of a three-point play and then an inbound steal by Jalen Smith. And then multiple buckets on the offensive end by Jaquiz Thomas, who knocks down his first free throw. Montgomery opens up a three-point lead. 4.22 remaining in the fourth and final quarter. Thomas knocks down a pair at the free throw line. Two possession game, trained to eat trailing. 83 to 79. Antonio Anthony working at the top of the key, tries to take his man off the dribble. Tough contested shot, no good rebound snared by Jeffrey Drake. It looks like they're going to call an over-the-back foul on Antonio Anthony. Things starting to come a little bit unraveled for Train to Eat. All of a sudden, there is a lid on the basket for Nashville. Montgomery leading 83-79. Four-minute marks remaining in this contest. Smith takes his man off the dribble, finds a wide open McNeil for a corner three. Thomas with his follow, can't go. Gets his own miss. Thomas goes back up strong. No good. Another offensive board by Thomas. Won't be denied. My goodness, what an effort from Jaquiz Thomas on the offensive glass. He has been a huge difference maker in the second half. Daryl Thompson has had his way on the offensive end and certainly has made his own impact on the offensive glass, but Thomas off the bench. Quality minutes against a quality opponent. Here's the inbound, and it's a wide open look for Jalen Smith that does not go. McNeil goes back up strong, and they're going to call Thompson for a shooting foul. So far, it's Jeffrey, check that, it's Jeffrey Drake who draws the foul on Thompson, and it just seems that a lot of those loose balls here in the late goings of the third quarter and so far in the first half of the fourth quarter have been going in favor of the Montgomery Knights. A lot of hustle to the ball, a lot of offensive rebounds, and now they can open up potentially a six-point lead with 340 and counting in the fourth quarter. As Jeffrey Drake does knock down his first free throw and decides that 
Make sure he dabs up Terrell Hill. And when you're on the free throw line, you want, your free, you want your teammates to go ahead and give you a little bit of love if you knock it down. Five point lead for Montgomery. Drake can make it six if he knocks this down. He only goes one of two at the line. Carpenter gets the rebound and pushes the pace himself. Harris over to Stanberry, now at the top of the key. Stanberry, rip through. Move that, draws a little bit of contact and they're gonna call that foul on the floor. Still a five point deficit, but Train to Eat does retain possession. Stanberry and Thompson have both dropped a 20 spot in this game. But they will certainly need more points if they want to get back into this one. Inbound goes to Carpenter. Now back to the top of the key to the Harris. Back to Carpenter on the right wing. Takes his man off the dribble. Carpenter, a beautiful contested layup. They needed that. 84-81, Montgomery still on top. 3-10 and counting. Drake takes Horton off the dribble and is able to draw the foul. And Jeffrey Drake now with consecutive trips to the line on consecutive possessions for Montgomery. And how often are games determined by how well you shoot your free throws going down the stretch? Drake went one of two on the line from his last trip and his first offering rattles in and out. Missed opportunity and missed points from Jeffrey Drake in consecutive possessions. Here is his second free throw. He comes up empty, but it's an offensive rebound by Glover. And Glover is immediately pressured by Jawan Carpenter, who looks like he was able to tie up Glover over there in the corner. It was him and Stephen James who trapped Glover after he got the offensive board. Referees are going to go ahead and confer and see if we got ourselves a jump ball. Maybe in a timeout called by Montgomery. 3.02 remaining in the fourth and final quarter here at Nashville. As we resume action, it looks as if we're just cleaning up the floor here real quick. An inbound set play, three-point game. Montgomery with possession, looking to make it a two-possession game. Drake inbounds. Now Drake swings it over to McNeil. McNeil steps into a three-pointer. That one hits absolutely nothing. And a quality defensive possession from the train to eat. And Wick on the ball foul from Philip Glover against George Stanberry. Train to eat trailing, 84-81. A three-pointer would tie it up with 240 and counting. Here in this game, Carpenter goes right at his man. Count the bucket and the foul. A big boy bucket from Jawan Carpenter. He's into double digits. And Carpenter can tie this one up if he's able to convert on the three-point play opportunity. Carpenter has hit a couple of night defenders with that right to left crossover. It's been deadly when trying to get into the paint. Finishes through contact and this could tie it up. And does. Carpenter with a huge three point play opportunity and we're knotted up at 84 all with 230 remaining in the game. Jerron Washington Thomas working on James. Drops it off to Deontay Brown. Brown tries to go through the body of his defender. No good. Good contest from Carpenter. Here comes Harris. Finds Stanberry. Stanberry nearly loses his footing. Able to split the double team. No good. Rebound gathered by Jerron Washington Thomas. Still a tie ball game. Thomas into the lane. Not able to go. Contested by Stephen James. And here come Nashville. James. Reward the big fella for running the floor. Stephen James, count that one and the foul. Catches himself a mouse in the house. And that gives Train to Eat the lead, 86 to 84. It was Stephen James who was able to contest Jerron Washington Thomas at the cup on the defensive end. 
the big fella running the floor. Beautiful find from Jamal Harris. And then the finish through contact. And it's Train to Eat who can open up a three point lead with 2.15 remaining. James, that one way off the mark. Can't get his own miss. Washington Thomas now with possession for Montgomery. They trail by two with two minutes remaining in this game. Washington Thomas. He's cut off. Now drops it off to Jaquiz Thomas. Tries to use the pick from Washington Thomas. Now back to Washington Thomas for three. No good. Rebound snared by George Stanberry. And his pass is too hot to handle. He had the right idea to Jamal Harris, but let him a little bit too much, and it's a costly turnover. 86-84. Marquez Brooks tries to tie it up. It rattles in and out. Horton gathers the board, but he turns it over. Marquez Brooks trapped in the corner, shoots it up, and they may call that one in the act of shooting. We'll see real quick. They're going to call it on the floor. Back-to-back -back costly turnovers from the train to eat squad as the Montgomery Knights have been grinding their way back into this game after they fell behind by 12 in the third quarter. And now that costly turnover leads to a foul and Marquez Brooks can tie this one up if he's able to go two of two at the line. Brooks, money on the first offering. One point game, 86-85, trained to eat. Still on top, but here's Brooks for the tie. Yes, sir, he goes, knocks down a clutch pair of free throws. We are all tied up, and here's another turnover. Oh, well, actually, they're going to call this one potentially some sort of foul on the floor. My apologies. Got a little anxious. 86-86. And now it's Stanberry and trained to eat with possession. Stanberry's pass is tipped. Somehow finds his way to Jamal Harris. Harris over to Horton. Back to Harris. Down to Daryl Thompson. Thompson, baby left hook goes. Train to eat, retake the lead. 23 points for Daryl Thompson. 88-86. We are at the one minute mark. Jerron Washington Thomas. Step back three. Yes, sir! That is the lead now for Montgomery. 89-88. Back and forth we go. Nearly a turnover in the backcourt. It's Carpenter. Carpenter pushes the pace. Yes, sir. Train to eat, retake the lead off the right-handed scoop from Jawan Carpenter. 90 to 89 is how I have it. The Knights trail by one. Marquez Brooks. Here's a screen from Thomas. Brooks finds a man in the corner. That one off. And it's rebounded by Jamal Harris. Bad time to have a little bit of a lag feed. 19 seconds left. And it's Stanberry with possession. He pushes the pace. They got a foul now, and they do. Jerron Washington Thomas is going to send George Stanberry to the line. And that is not the man that you want to, well, like, check that. Does not appear that the team is in the bonus quite yet. Looks like there's a little bit of a discussion going on. Now we get a clear look at the scoreboard. It is 90 to 89, trained to eat on top. We have 14 seconds remaining in this game. And George Stanberry, who has 21 points, is gonna go to the line and try to Put some breathing room in between them and the Montgomery Knights. 14 seconds left. Check that, apparently Train to Eat is not in the bonus yet. And Nashville will have to inbound from the sideline. Goes into Stanberry. Stanberry is trapped. And they do call the foul on Gary Hollingsworth. Nashville was able to eat up a couple precious seconds on the clock, and this time now it will be Stanberry going to the line to shoot a pair.
A fantastic game from George Stanberry as he does get that first one to go. It's now a two-point game. 91-89. Trained to eat on top. Stanberry with 22 points. Here's his second offering. He comes up clutch. Three-point game. 92-89. 10 seconds left. Brooks steps into a three. No good. Jawan Washington Thomas. He gets it off one, an offering. No good. Another one from Thomas. No good. And that'll do it as the Nashville trade to eat. Come away with their first victory of the season by a final score of 92 to 89. Thank you for joining yet another exciting edition of PBA Basketball here on Triangle by 1891 as Train to Eat improved to one and two on the season while the Montgomery Knights fall to one and three. Standout performances include George Stanberry and Daryl Thompson from the Train to Eat squad. Both of them dropped 20 plus in this game. Well, actually check that, I thought we were gonna have ourselves Apparently there's been a little bit of a stack correction and now they put two seconds back on the clock. My apologies. We still have a little bit of a game left here. It is going to be Jaquiz Thomas who's going to be shooting a pair from the free throw line with two seconds left on the clock. Referee's trying to work this one out. I'm trying to work this one out here in the announcing booth. I mean, it just gives us another opportunity for an exciting finish. It's been an exciting game between these two Eastern Conference foes in the PBA. It appears they, that Jaquiz Thomas was fouled after gaining possession of the offensive board. He will go to the line to shoot one, and he does convert 92-91. Full court pass from Stephen James. And that ought to do it. As the Nashville train to eat, barely hold off the surging Montgomery Knights by a final score of 92-91. So they do officially pick up their first win of the season do the train to eat. The Montgomery Knights fall to one and three on the season. It's the second time they've lost by one point. Thank you for joining this edition of PBA Action here on Triangle by 1891. I'm Derek Tate. Until next time, everybody, have a good one.